I'm here with Connor Hughes and Connor for the first time we got to see Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. run out onto the football field and a New York Jets jersey, but that's pretty much all we saw. That is literally <laughs> all we saw, right? I mean, he took part in the team stretch at some point between then and when the Jets began individual drills. He tweaked his calf, but it's nothing serious. It's minor. He feels like he will be back in short order. But his impact on this Jets team, Janae, it has been felt, and it's been felt in large ways. I mean, I think that's what everyone pretty much has said, right? We talked to CJ Uzama today. He talked about how Rodgers' presence in the locker room, presence in team meetings, basically finding a way to bridge the gap between the football that's written on paper and the football that's played on the field. It's been huge. And then DJ Reed talked about how he's got this aura around him. He's cool without trying to be cool. I mean, it, you can tell yes. that the Jets, coaches, upper management players, they are all straight giddy with their new quarterback. In fact, I think we heard that it's been lit. It's been dope. Yeah. Yeah. But a thing that was quite interesting was let's talk about Zach Wilson yeah. and what we got to see from Zach Wilson today because Aaron Rodgers wasn't He had a, a heck of a day. I mean, honestly, like we saw Zach Wilson all last summer, and I don't necessarily know if he ever had a practice, and I know this is OTAs. I know that <laughs> yes. it was just seven-on-seven seven drills, but still, seven-on-sevens, OTAs, minicamp last year, Zach Wilson didn't look like this. He looked calm. He looked comfortable. He was playing free. He was playing loose. He made the throw of practice when he thread the needle on a pass beyond DJ Reed into Garrett Wilson's hands that actually drew the praise of DJ Reed. Yes. He went to Zach Wilson after and said, dude, what was that route? I have no idea that was complete so a good sign for the Jets is not only is Aaron Rodgers here and everyone loves him but Zach Wilson's looking pretty good too so it's a, a, a good little one-two punch the Jets have going there another guy who stood out to you today yeah Jeremy Ruckert the tight end right I mean he dealt with plantar fasciitis last year yeah. which obviously held him back some he did have a good game in that finale against the Dolphins but at that point the Jets were eliminated from the playoffs and no one was really playing attention he was the recipient of several of those really impressive Zach Wilson throws and, and I think he's a player to potentially keep an eye on I know the Jets have Tyler Conklin I know they have Uzama yep. who, who we were just talking about but Ruckert is a guy who has a lot of upside that the Jets like a lot, and this might be a sign of things to come, what he did here in the first media open OTA. All right, but let's be real. All eyes are on number eight, Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Yeah, and he was smiling. He was giddy. He was skipping a couple times, actually. He did. It might have been a limp, but yeah, maybe. No, not too. All right, for Connor Hughes, I'm Janae Coakley.